The band Tariqe Taliban has allegedly sent a letter to Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Science and Technology Minister Atif Khan demanding he pay 8 million rupees within 3 days or prepare to get killed. The letter which appears to be from TTP division in the area is addressed to the minister who hails from Mardan. Talking to the media today, Khan confirmed that he had received the letter. The minister said he had shared the letter with all security agencies and now the onus for taking action was on them. Letter uh, ransom just tarah normally baaki log ko bhi kuch log aaye hain to wo aaye hain aur maine concerned authorities se usko share kiya hai ab wo us pe aage jo bhi karwai kar sakte hain wo karenge inshallah dekhiye mujhe to baakiyon ka pata nahi hai lekin maine to openly kaha hai ki ye cheez hai aur uske mutabik jo security agencies hain saro ko maine inform kar diya hai ab bhi aage kaam karna to obviously security agencies ka kaam KP government spokesperson Barrister Mohammad Ali Saif said an investigation would be conducted into the letter received by Khan and action would be taken in accordance with the law. On the other hand, DDP spokesman Mohammad Kurasani denied the group's involvement in sending the letter to the minister. In a statement, Kurasani said the TTP had nothing to do with the letter. We will investigate and will punish the culprits, he said. The incident comes amid renewed concerns about increasing militancy and TTP's resurgence in the country's northern areas. Wary residents of Swat and Shangla have been protesting for weeks, demanding terrorists be reined in after a slew of attacks have left them jittery. Lawmakers raised concerns over the worsening situation in Swat, where citizens have poured into the streets against growing violence in recent days during a National Assembly session. Climate Change Minister Sherry Rahman compared the situation in the Khaibru Pakhtunkhwa district with the neighboring Afghanistan prior to the end of a 20-year-long war. The PPP senator lashed out at violent elements for hiding their nefarious designs behind religion. She demanded that everyone should be taken into confidence on the progress of operations launched against terrorism and the direction in which they are headed. Earlier, Defense Minister Khwaja Asif called for sitting together on the situation in Swat, among other issues of grave importance. He recalled a similar situation in Swat was seen 11 to 12 years ago when concerns were raised that those in Swat may not be too far away from Islamabad. However, he continued, a positive was that the people of Swat had come out and were united against without any discrimination or political differences. Federal Minister of Finance Isaac Dar said that talks with the International Monetary Fund are progressing well and with positive results are expected soon. Referring to a recent increase in the value of the U.S. dollar, the finance minister said that it was not a matter of grave concern and that the real value of the dollar is much lower than the current rate. He also expressed hope that the greenback would fall to its real value. On Sunday during an interview with an international news agency, Dar said he will seek rescheduling of some $27 billion worth of non-Paris club debt but will not pursue haircuts as part of any restructuring. Dar ruled out the possibility of a default on the country's debt, an extension of the majority date on bonds due in December or a renegotiation of the current International Monetary Fund program. The foreign passport that PTI leader Vavda submitted to the Election Commission of Pakistan as proof of renunciation of his U.S. nationality was already expired, the Supreme Court observed. The observation was made by Justice Aisha Malik, who was part of a three-member bench headed by Chief Justice of Pakistan, Umar Atta Bandeal, and also comprising of Justice Mansoor Ali Shah hearing Vavda's appeal against his disqualification for life under Article 62.1f of the Constitution. In February, the ECP disqualified Vavda for concealing his U.S. citizenship and directed him to return the salary and other benefits he had received as a minister and as a member of the National Assembly within two months. It had also denotified him as a senator. During today's hearing, his lawyer contended that the returning officer had seen Vavda's cancelled passport. Following Justice Aisha Malik's observation, the Chief Justice of Pakistan remarked that this matter had become very serious. Justice Mansoor commented that another of Vavda's lies is out in the open.